Hi everyone! So here is a super cute unicorn rainbow galaxy kind of set of nails I did the other day. So I've done my usual um, remove, like debulk from the previous set down to thin clear base, done all my natural nail work prep. I've applied a thin clear base to all of these nails so we're good to go with the design work. Um, so I'm going to add a link in the description below to a video that the fabulous Laura did for the Glitter Fairy doing her galaxy nails. So I wanted to do something like these but not not obviously not the same colours and a bit different. Um, so I went for kind of like a rainbow galaxy with unicorns. So it's similar to a marble but you're wanting to sweep rather than marble the acrylic so i've applied that blue near the cuticle area just because when i add all my sweepy bits i want to know that there's like a a tidy base behind it um, and all i'm doing is getting small beads so i'm getting three colors and i've got about eight or nine colors in front of me there various rainbow shades and i literally pop my brush in three different pots, get really tiny amount, and then I place it on the nail and then just nudge it left and right, that's it. So literally one, two, three different colours. Then I'm popping on the nail and then just nudging it about. I did the same with the glitters. For the glitters, I've got the entire Indian Summer Royalty collection out. And all I'm doing is literally getting a small bead of clear acrylic, dabbing it into two or three of the glitters and then pulling back and forth. So you don't want to overwork the colours, you don't want to be fiddling about with them too much, just place them on a, like a, a couple of swirls either direction or a couple of pulls in either direction and then just leave it and just keep layering it up. Um, and I'm going to do this until this entire nail is covered. Then moving on to the next now, I'm going to put a base of an ombre, but again this is just so that if there are any little gaps between the swirls, I know there's a solid base behind it. So I'm applying a pink and then I'm coming in with a cover pink and then I'm going to do the exact same thing starting from the tip working up, but leaving a little bit of that cover pink showing. And to get a nice kind of galaxy swirly blend, I did just pull some of the acrylic up so that you end up with like the wisps coming up into the cover pink. 
and then on the next nail oh no no we're not on the next nail yet i'm going to cap in clear so as they set i always give like while i'm working on one nail give the previous now a chance to kind of set up before I then cap it then cap it in clear make sure all that glitter goes nice and um, matte and make sure I've got a nice shape and structure on the nail and then on the middle finger I am using a slider so I've applied that cover pink from the cute clear out and blended down um, I let it set because I was bugging about doing something else so I then put some clear on just a little wash of clear now these sliders all you do is you literally cut out the design you want I get a little crystal tray with a lint free pad with some water in and then I just lay it on there to let the cardboard um, backing soak up the water and then you just slide the pattern off and then I'm just patting that down, getting it as flat as I can. If there's a few bits raised, it's not the end of the world. As long as it's not sticking out to the point, it can't be capped. And then doing exactly the same thing, picking up three beads of colour, swirling back and forth, not wanting to do too much. I think the important thing when you're doing the, the, the pull marble rather than the swirly roundy marble is when you're thinking, oh, I'll stop in a minute, stop then and have a look at the design. Um, so it's better to kind of go, oh, no, wait, rather than keep going, because if you keep swirling it back and forth, you just end up with a, a mush of colour and there's no real swirl definition. Then adding in little bits of glitter, just going to continue to make this design and make sure it makes the nail a complete piece. So swirl it up and around as if they're tendrils of brightly coloured smoke. Smoky Rainbow Galaxy Unicorns, so yes. And I'm loving this little unicorn slider because she's got a flower behind her ear. Mm. And I just carried on in the same way. So the two middle fingers were ombres. There was um, a slider on each one. I put sliders on the thumbs as well. And then I filed them all in when I had finished all the design work. So these are one of those nails that there's so much going on on the nails. It, I don't think um, crystals or anything else on top would be necessary. They're a very busy set because you've got so many colours like running through it so I just top coated and then the nails were done so I'm going to apply my top coat and then I'm going to cure for 60 seconds in my LED lamp and then apply some cuticle oil So there you have it guys, these are my Galaxy Rainbow Unicorn nails, um, I, as I said I took the design from Laura Wynn, or the, the technique she used, so please check out the link below for her video, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you all again soon, bye!